Hello everyone. Once again, this is Dare to Speak. And I just checked my blood sugar. I uh, poked my finger. I just finished eating. This is something that I've been noticing for the past week already so far. I have type 2 diabetes. But of course, it's not real bad is um, what, it, what is called um, borderline diabetic and with borderline with borderline diabetes um, I have a chance to reverse it from what I understand so after I, after I just finished testing my blood this is what I got My blood sugar glucose is uh, 205 and I just finished eating and I just had um, organic hot salsa and I took also um, cinnamon capsules and also I haven't haven't done it yet but I'm gonna do it now it's a uh, ginger root from nature's bounty now I will take uh, two capsules In about an hour, a couple of hours, I'm gonna check up my I'm gonna check my blood sugar sugar again, and most likely it's gonna drop down big time. It's going to, because um, I had a lot of organic hot salsa, pico de gallo, which is chopped up peppers, tomatoes, and onions, all diced up, and. Uh, the thing about it is, it doesn't it doesn't spike up your your blood sugar because there's a lot of fiber in it. There's a tremendous amount of fiber in um, pico de gallo, organic hot salsa. So it has to be from a Mexican restaurant. It can't be from those bottles where they have what's all processed. It has to be from scratch. It has to be natural. And um, anything that's hot and spicy will help improve metabolism. It will help um, for people who have asthma. That's the one thing I, don't, I noticed myself that I don't get winded as easily. And I just finished doing some chores around the house. And I usually get um, winded easily. And of course, you know, if it gets, that, gets to that point, I would have to use this. But I haven't used it all day today so far. So uh, it does help for that. And because it's an anti-inflammatory organic hot salsa ginger root a combination of that and also a combination of uh, cinnamon capsules nature's bounty also carries that too and, and there's other stuff like that but um, the spicy anything that's hot and spicy that's all natural organic does help for both diabetes and for asthma for type 2 diabetes and for asthma so I'm gonna check up in an hour and 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 see how it how, what it reads right now because right now it's at 205 and I just finished um, eating so it was about maybe about 15 minutes ago 10 15 minutes ago so let's see what happens by the way um, before I check myself um, an hour later from now to see what happens I just want to let you know that I stopped taking my metformin which is to help lower the blood sugar level I stopped taking it for a week just to see what will happen I because I usually take it I took 500 milligram tablets um, one tablet twice a day that, that was part of my regular uh, routine 
I stopped taking it for a week. I substituted it with uh, organic hot salsa and the ginger root. And of course, uh, cinnamon capsules too. But the thing, the thing about it is, it's been a week now. I haven't taken any metformin, no prescription medications for my diabetes. I don't take insulin. I just to let you know, I don't take it because it's not that severe. I'm borderline diabetic. Uh, but it's known to um, taking organic hot salsa and ginger root regularly as a part of an everyday diet does help to promote um, insulin uh, improvement. There you go. It helps to improve your insulin uh, in, in your pancreas. So it helps to strengthen the pancreas to produce more insulin. That way, when enough time passes after taking it, doing this regular diet for, for three or four months, or I don't know how long it will take, you don't need to take insulin anymore. Again, that's in theory, but let's find out. When I check myself after an hour, no metformin for a whole week. I, I went without taking it for a whole week, so substituting it for this. Let's just see what happens. Well, okay, it's a little over an hour, about an hour and 10 minutes. And I'm gonna do this real quick. I'll put this in. Okay, it's set up. I got this. So, hook my finger. Checking my blood. 126. I just poked my finger and just checked it right now. One twenty six. And that's after eating hot organic salsa and taking the uh, ginger root to add some spice when I ate my food. And what I had was some Mexican uh, Mexican food. I had tacos, chicken tacos. With corn tortilla, I drink. I did drink some water, and I did have one can of soda. I did have one can of soda, and it still went up to two o two o five. And then after, and after, because I ate all, at least a lot of uh, organic hot salsa, a lot of it. Basically, this right here. Pico de Gallo. This is um, crushed, I mean diced up green peppers, tomatoes, and onions. A lot of chili piquin in there. The, 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 the seeds. See? Now I just took it out. 
126. There you see it. From, from 205 to 126. And I have type 2 diabetes. And I ate a regular a regular meal, some um, some Mexican food, chicken tacos, and a lot of organic hot salsa, which is the pico de gallo and the regular salsa, the red one, which I couldn't show you because I finished it. That's the thing. Um, I did have one can of soda, and I drank water. And I have diabetes, and it went up to 205. And then, and then uh, about... 15 minutes later, I did this video. I took the ginger root again, showing you just to add some more spice to two capsules I took. And then an hour and 10 minutes later, it went down to 126. So it does work, it is effective. And I know, and I've been noticing that for about a week now. So if I keep this up, I'm pretty sure that um, no matter what I eat, as long as I have um, organic hot salsa or pico de gallo as part of my regular diet, my diabetes will actually get less and less severe. And of course, um, if you exercise too, and that would also help. So it's known to be very effective. So any questions, comments, whatever you want to ask me, don't, don't hesitate. You know what to do. And again, to all of you, take care.